Hi everyone, Jody Marketplace Boutique. So today I got up early and I've been working a lot on eBay and I've been thinking, you know, like I'm listing a lot of granny things. Everybody loves their grandma, right? Well, remember going back to grandma's house and all those little special things that made grandma's house fun? Well, those things are selling really well on eBay. So let's talk about some new keywords that are out there for grannies. You wouldn't believe the granny stuff that sells. It's amazing. And the sun is actually out, as you can see here in Michigan, which is awesome. I'm really enjoying that. I'll probably take a nice walk today. I got my packages out this morning, so everything's all nice and ready to go. I have some Afghans to list here on eBay, so I'm going to do that, and I'll show you how I take a picture of those items. Oh, speaking of granny, I have my great grandma and grandpa's their chair. I actually hauled this out of their barn before the barn was tore down. But I think it's great because it's my grandparents. So talk about granny things that sell on eBay. You're going to be shocked if you haven't already looked it up. There's some great granny keywords out there too. Come on along. I was just gonna list this blanket. I bought this at a flea market. I think I paid, I don't know, five, ten dollars. The lady did say there was no holes in it, but it is actually <laughs> full of holes. Boy, I don't know if I want to sell this or not. I might just keep this. Oh, Tommy likes it. We might have to keep this one. So what do you think? Should I sell that? <laughs> Tommy. <laughs> Never mind the kitty. I don't know. This looks like I might have to keep it. Tommy likes it. What do you think, Tommy? What is that, Tommy? So this is how I photo all of like my Afghans. I lay them out. Of course, this was before Tommy. <laughs> oh, he's he's ready to pounce. What's going on, Tom? Oh, no. Well, it looks like I need a different place to photograph some blankets. <laughs> Oh my goodness, Tommy. He's mommy's sweet little boy. He's such a ham. He's so funny. What you doing, Tom? Okay, so here we have Terra Peak, and Terra Peak is something that you can find in your research tab over on eBay if you have an eBay store. So I put in grandma and let's see what we can find here. Now, if you look here, you'll see a lot of stuff has sold for quite a bit of money with the word grandma in it. Definitely keep grandma in mind as you're listing. You can find a lot of stuff on estate sales, auctions. Flea markets are a great place to find things. Here is a grandma that sold, and that sold for $950. Here are some Hummels. I'm sure these are vintage, and this is selling for $950. Oh, that's cute. That is so cute. When I don't usually find Hummels around here unless they're at auction, at a live auction, I do see a lot of reproductions, so be very, very careful. I've done it several times. When you have the originals, they obviously sell really well, and these are so cute. I can see why these sold. That's sweet. You know, maybe their grandparents had them, and it just reminds them of their grandparents. Here's a grandma's patchwork starry Amish quilt, and this one sold for $900. Wow, isn't that amazing? So keep your eye out for quilts as you're around. Grandma is the keyword. This one sold for $613, and this is a Longa Burger Grandma Bonnie's May Series Miniature Baskets. A lot of 14 combos. So these were actually little little ones. They listed it on their black couch, it looks like. And, I mean, that looks pretty good. That took a really good photo. You know, you don't have to have a fancy background to take pictures. You probably want it, um, you know, less cluttered. So your item shows up pretty well. And this one sold for $550. So I love these. These are even harder and harder to come by even at like a live auction. You can usually get these around a hundred or less. This is this is a vintage 1930 dated cotton quilt. Grandma's Flower Garden. 
teal and pastels and this is a beautiful quilt I oh this is pretty I wish I could find something like this at a thrift store but I don't find anything like that um the only place I come around these would be a either a live auction which I do find a lot of these at or a local auction so of course eBay has them yes they do flea markets flea markets are good for that too Okay, and this one, believe it or not, sold for $500. And this is a Magnolia Pearl Wilberta Shed Lightweight Jacket in Grandma Brown. So keep your eye out for those beautiful vintage items and think back like 100 years what was in style. And right now we're in the 20s going into 30s. This is a definitely like a classic, you know, 20s, 30s look. And those vintage items sell really, really, really good. This one sold for $4.89. Never forget artwork. Artwork is something that you can always make a lot of money at. Um, if you have a really nice, just think quality. If you pick up a quality piece of artwork, and it could just be even a local person. Here is a John Markwood original 1930 to 1988 signed oil on canvas painting grandma's old house this is so cute and i'm sure this brings back memories for someone or they just like the artist so you can make a lot of money in art don't turn that away especially in oil on canvas and here's something that sold for four hundred dollars plus shipping this is a Catherine home enamelware set of seven Saturn Bulls grandma set. So this probably came out of somebody's grandma's kitchen or an estate sale. I like how they featured that upside down like that. You can kind of do it the opposite way too. If you put some little spacers in between them, it looks pretty good. Um, so this one sold for quite a bit of money. $400 this one sold and when I think of grandma's I definitely think of Christmas time and cozy grandma and this is a Christmas grandma wear this is a Christopher Radco Fantasia grandma's own vintage set of three glass ornaments and this one sold for quite a bit of money too keep your eye out for these Christopher Radco sells really well but also vintage Christmas sells awesome this one sold for $357, and this is a Calvin Denson ring, Navajo Grandma inlay. So this is probably more like a piece of art, but just keep in mind, when you're selling old pieces of jewelry, you can also put Grandma in your title, and it would probably sell pretty good. Okay, so now let's talk about Granny. Granny Square quilts, Granny Square Afghans. Think of the show Roseanne, you know, the afghan that used to sit on the back of the couch. Oh my goodness, those sell really, really well. I've definitely sold a couple myself. And you can ask pretty high dollars and put just put an offer on it and you never know. This sold for $1,600. This is an authentic 1970s glam rock granny takes a trip. World's End Emerald Blazer, even a size extra small, which is very hard to sell. Oh my goodness, I think I have some blazer jackets just like that. That's so funny because this is actually coming right back in style. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so funny. So this is a nice classic piece and this one sold for quite a bit of money. This is great. I definitely regret cleaning out my parents' house and throwing everything away. And I did throw all the clothing away. Shame on me. Shame on me. And here's one that sold for $1,500. So keep your eye out for Granny Who Takes a Trip. That's a really good brand name to look out for. Here's something that sold for $750. And this is a sealed Squigabillies. Squigabillies. Did I say that right? <laughs> Plushies, Early, Rusty, Sheriff, and Granny. So these are little toys. They almost look like McDonald's toys or something to that size, but that sold for quite a bit. 
here's something that sold for $650. Here is a rare Royal Dalton Granny Dark Brown Glaze. That is neat. And this is a character jug. How interesting. Uh, and the funny thing is, you know, my parents from the 70s had a lot of this kind of stuff. And yeah, I, I didn't keep anything from their house really other than shovels. <laughs> I wish I was selling vintage items back then. Yes, that's right. Granny panties. Sold. <laughs> Here are some vintage granny panties. Lot of 20 silky nylon soft lace. Size 4 to 5. Wow, I'm a little bit shocked at this. I didn't think we could sell used panties on eBay. So you might want to check the rules on that. But this one got by and it sold for quite a bit. And this sold for $575. This is so cute. This is like a little piece of art. And here's a granny knitting miniature doll 112 handmade OOAK one of a kind. Alma Artistry, that is precious. I love her little face. She's really, really cute. Sold $556. Ooh, this is beautiful. I love this. I would love to hang this over my banister. Here's the antique late 1800 square quilt hand stitched calico vintage nine patch quilt. Isn't this beautiful? Oh my goodness, this is going to make me shop on eBay for quilts. I just know it. Now I want one. <laughs> I might have to keep my eye out this summer for some pretty new quilts. Here is one right here that sold for $5.25. This is a vintage 70s lace-up boots, unworn in a box, Zodiac granny campus boots, size 6. Wow, that's amazing. Now, I can actually remember seeing some photos of my mother wearing something like this. So this is like a cool piece of history. Look at how neat this is. All the laces and the... Keep your eye out for these big platform boots. This is awesome. I wish I could come by something like this in thrift stores, but definitely estates and auctions. This sold for $570. Now, I do have something like this. This is a vintage gunny sacks by Jessica White. A waffle fabric, red gingham, maxi a granny dress. Using that keyword, granny, isn't this cute? I actually took something like this out of my mother-in-law's closet because I just couldn't let that go to Goodwill. I'm not sure if I've listed it yet. I'm going to have to check that out. Isn't that sweet? I love the colors and I love the bright red florals with that cute little red gingham. So precious. This sold for $447, and I am actually bidding on some at auction right now. And this is an off Granny's Wall, Season Griswold, and then they put the number, which is good. Block Letter Erie, Pennsylvania, sits flat. Very nice. I often will go to auctions and they still have stuff hanging on the wall. And if you let the auctioneer go through, they'll usually ask, is there anything else that you want? And I will point to something on the wall or grab it off the wall. And I've bought stuff like that. So that's just something to think about. If you're at an auction, keep your eye out for these. These are a great find. And you know what? We still use an old one while we're camping and we make pies in them. So you can make eggs and you can make bacon and all kinds of good stuff. And our campfire in the morning always smells absolutely wonderful. Everybody walks by and takes a look like, oh, <laughs> smells good over there. Oh, this sold for $429, and this is a lot of 33 crochet granny square bucket hat tippy retro. So this is a private listing here, it looks like, and 
they probably made it for somebody and listed it on eBay. This is so cute. I wonder if somebody bought these for their grandkids or it could have been for some movie or a play. Who knows? But aren't these so adorable? Oh my goodness. Okay, this one sold for $383. Here's a vintage 1932 Fisher Price Granny Duck. And it works. I see these all the time out at auctions and estate sales. Keep your eye out for these. These are so cute and you can usually get them in lots or even like under $5. I love the vintage little toys. Their looks on their faces are so sweet and adorable. Sold for $350. Here is a Granny Squares long cardigan sweater handmade in Nepal. Now keep your eye out for those crocheted items, the crocheted shawls. They sell really good on eBay too. I always pick them up when I see them or any of that hand crocheted kind of items because I don't want them to go to waste or go to a landfill after all the hard work that somebody's grandmother did. So look at the colors on this. I can see why this sold really well. These sold for $340 and I actually wouldn't have thought that. My husband always teases me that I look like that girl on the big comfy couch because my legs weren't touching the ground and we ended up getting a new couch because I could not touch the ground and it was driving me nuts. Here's a big comfy couch. That's adorable. I'm definitely going to keep my eye out for these kind of plushes. I myself didn't know that they sold for that much. But I guess, you know, if somebody had them in their childhood, they might want to go down memory lane and get these back. So super, super, super cute. You know, I find that plushes that are over 20 years old do usually sell pretty good. So keep your eye out for plushes. Okay, and another keyword I want to tell you about is granny core. Now, let's look at granny core. Now, yes, there was cottage core, and then there was Barbie core, and right now, I'm finding a lot of granny core. And I started using that myself before even really thinking about granny core. <laughs> so... <laughs> You know, as you're listing, I think you just kind of either make up some keywords sometimes or you just kind of go with a flow of, hey, you know, cottage core was in and now I have a granny item, so I'm going to say granny core. And if you have extra space at the end of your listings like this one, why not just put granny core at the end? Hey, it works. This one sold for $248. And here's a sterling, here's a sterling silver Texco large ball bead necklace. And they put granny core on it. I love it that they did that. I think I actually had one of these at one time. They're really neat. And they're pretty hefty, too, with that sterling silver. Um, granny core keyword. And I have to wonder, is that what sold it? Or was it the sterling silver? Maybe both. But this was a great sale. This one sold for $130. I actually have two of these, but mine are not from Italy, but they're very similar. A Manicoli Italy large turkey platter, hand-painted ceramic granny core, VTG, which stands for vintage. I love these. And actually, I inherited my mother-in-law's turkey platter. I love it. We used it at Thanksgiving. I absolutely love it. So, and I like to hand those kind of traditions down to my kids, which I think is really special. So, and a lot of people might be looking for what they used to use at grandma's house. So keep your mind on that as you're selling your vintage items. Here is this for $125, and this is something I could have gotten one almost exactly the same for my grandma, and I didn't take it because it was fur. But here is a vintage wool fur coat jacket, Granny Core, co Indie Coastal Chic Streetwear. Very nice. It's very, very pretty. I wouldn't wear fur myself, but some people enjoy it. It is soft. It is beautiful. And some people don't mind wearing it. So if you don't mind selling it or wearing it, there you go. That 
does sell, and I'm actually surprised that that one did not sell for more. This one sold for $110. Look how cute this is. Love Shack. Fancy. Dina Cardigan Prune. Heart. Granny Core Cottage Core. Size medium. I really like how they displayed this on a white rug. That is super cute. It's making me want to do that. But I find, you know, I don't want to spend a lot of time. Lately, I just throw my things on the wall and they sell. So you don't need anything fancy. You don't need a fur rug. But this is super cute how they displayed it. I have to say, and they use cottage core and they use granny core and it sold. And this is something that you can pretty much find something like this in any thrift store that you go to. Okay, $100. And this is an unfinished quilt top handmade colorful partially done granny core country. This is really cool. And they just laid this over their deck, which I have done myself because, hey, it works. So a lot of times I also will lay it outside in the driveway, on the deck, or in the grass if the grass has been freshly cut and this is a great way to display it outside because then you have that natural lighting too and I think natural lighting on quilts and pieces like this actually works pretty good. Here is a dress that sold for $90 plus shipping. This is a vintage Laura Ashley floral dress corduroy blue us 14 granny core cottage core i probably would have put prairie in that title too laura ashley stuff has always sold pretty good on ebay and keep your eye out for this kind of design i find the best place to find these is like at a bibles for missions thrift store or a church sale church sales that stuff people that are going back to work where are selling really good on eBay right now. It's like the back to work, the florals, elastic waist, things that are comfortable and not real stiff looking. Um, oversized blazer jackets sell really well. And don't forget your granny core, granny and grandma keywords. My grandma is in her upper 90s now, and I find it so amazing that I still have her in my life. It's absolutely wonderful. I've loved all my grandmas. I hope you found this informational today, and I hope you go out and find something good to list on eBay. Take care, everybody. Bye. Okay, Susan, get off the blanket. I'm trying to list it. Oh my goodness, you guys. I'm trying to list this blanket on eBay. <laughs> oh, the shenanigans. Okay, you two.